शांति दिस इज़ द अव्यक्त मुरली ऑफ थर्टी ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ओरिजिनल डेट ट्वेंटी ऑफ मार्च 1995. टाइटल इज द मोस्ट एलिवेटेड ट्रेजर ऑफ ब्राह्मण लाइफ इज द ट्रेजर ऑफ थाट्स टुडे बाप दादा इज सींग द अकाउंट ऑफ द ट्रेजर्स ऑफ ऑल द चिल्ड्रन एवरीवेयर ईच ऑफ यू चिल्ड्रन हैज रिसीव्ड मैनी ट्रेजर्स यू हैव रिसीव्ड इम्पेरिसेबल काउंटलेस ट्रेजर्स यू हैवन रिसीव दैम फॉर जस्ट दिस बर्थ बट यू हैव द गारंटी ऑफ दैम फॉर मैनी फ्यूचर बर्थ्स you have them with you now and you will also have them with you in the future so today baba is especially seeing to what extent each one of you has accumulated the most elevated treasure in your, in your account the one that is the special basis of all other treasures you have received countless treasures but how many have you accumulated so the most elevated treasure is the treasure of thoughts the elevated thoughts of all of you are the foundation of brahman life the treasure of thoughts is very powerful with your thoughts you can reach param dham in less than a second the power of thought is a rocket that is even faster than an automatic rocket you can go wherever you want whether you are just sitting somewhere or doing something or with the treasure and power of thoughts you are able to experience yourself to be close to any soul you wish to come close to you can go to whatever place you want to whatever stays you want to adopt whether it is elevated of happiness wishful or of weakness you can adopt it with a second thought you just have the thought i am an elevated brahman soul and you will have an elevated stays and an elevated experience the moment you have the thought i am a weak soul i do not have any power then through the thought of just a second your happiness disappears you would experience signs of distress in your stays however the basis of both of these stages are your thoughts when you sit in remembrance you make your stays on the basis of your thoughts i am a point i am an angel you made that stays with your thoughts and so look how powerful your thoughts are the basis of this knowledge is also thoughts i am a soul not a body this is the thought you have throughout the day your mind and intellect have pure thoughts in your churning too you have pure thoughts and so the basis of the power of churning is also the power of thought when you are going to imbibe something you give your mind and intellect that thought today i have to imbibe the power to tolerate so the basis of your dharana is also thoughts when you do service and make plans you have pure thoughts do you not you are able to make plans with your thoughts with your with pure thoughts you experience this do you not so the special and most elevated treasure of brahman life is the treasure of thoughts If you use the treasure of thoughts in a worthwhile way your stays and your actions throughout the day remain very good however what is the result when you waste your treasure of thoughts you are not able to create the stays that you want and all of you know that waste thoughts weaken your intellect and your stays the intellect of those who have waste thoughts are weak and confused they are not able to make accurate decisions they are constantly confused they are not able to decide clearly what to do and what not to do the speed of waste thoughts is very fast all of you experience waste thoughts not sinful thoughts you all experience waste thoughts because of their fast speed you are not able to control them you lose control of them so the sign of waste thoughts is distress a loss of happiness an upset mind and not experiencing pleasure in your life many of you are not even aware of why your stays has become like it has you look at gross factors and think i did not perform any sinful action i did not make any mistake yet why do i lack happiness why am i unhappy why do i not experience pleasure in my life why am i not able to focus my mind what is the reason for this 
You see your sinful actions, your sinful thoughts. You check your gross mistakes, but in fact there is a subtle mistake of wasting your treasures. You have definitely increased your account of unnecessary wastes. A physical illness may not be something major initially. It only appears in a minor form, but it could grow from something minor into something major. You are not able to see the minor form, but it is visible in its major form. In the same way, if there is this wastes, you have not saved anything. So the account of wastes keeps increasing, increasing and increasing. The account of sin is separate. This is the account of wasting treasures. You are able to see your sins very clearly and you therefore realize, today I did this and this is why my happiness disappeared. However, there isn't as much checking of the account of wastes. You think, today has passed and it has been good, I haven't made a mistake. But did you check whether you accumulated or whether you wasted the elevated treasure of thoughts? If you do not accumulate, it would then be in account of wastes, would it not? Internally you think that you are doing a great deal, but you have to check your account. What treasures did I accumulate today? Do you know how to check that? Have you become your own checker or that of others? You check yourself internally, but the checking of others is easier because it is done externally. So Bhaptada was saying that the special treasure of elevated thoughts is wasted a great deal. You are not even aware as to whether it has been wasted or used powerfully. Brahma Baba was said to be an incarnation of economy. Who are all of you? Are all of you masters or not? Do you not know how to economize? Do you know how to spend? In fact, in their worldly lives, double foreigners do not know how to increase their savings accounts very much. They use them up and they finish. They keep a low bank balance. However, in this, you will have to become incarnations of economy. So, Bhaptada saw that you have not saved as much as you should have of the elevated treasure of thoughts that you have received. The account of waste is was greater. If your thoughts are wasted, the other treasures are then automatically wasted. If your thoughts are of waste, what would your deeds or words be? Of waste, would they not? The foundation is thought and so check your thoughts. Do not let them lose. It's okay, it's only two minutes, no longer. However, just check, just check how many thoughts you had in two minutes. Waste thoughts are faster. You are able to go from Abu to America in a second. Otherwise, it takes so many hours. The speed is so fast. Check them at the same speed and save them. Save the power of your thoughts and then check them at night. If you save something with attention, then even if the saving is very small, there is extra happiness of the saving. If you had to spend $10 or pounds and you saved $1 or one pound, you would then experience the great happiness of having saved a pound. Use controlling power over your thoughts. Do not say I did not want this to happen. I understand this but what can I do if it happens? Who says that it just happens? A master or a slave? Everything is under the control of the master. If the master is deceived by someone, is he the master? Check whether you have controlling power. Firstly, save it. Instead of wasting it, accumulate it in account of the best. Secondly, if you are not able to save something, then change the waste thoughts into powerful thoughts. Even if you are not able to control them, at least you are able to change them, are you not? So quickly change their speed. Otherwise, you will develop that habit. If you check for an hour, you can still save 5 to 10 minutes of thoughts from the waste ones in the account of best. If you have even 5 minutes, then how many 5 minutes are there in 12 hours? So how much happiness would you experience? The more you save in the account of elevated thoughts, the more this account will be useful at a time of need. Otherwise, just as with physical money, if you have not saved some, you are then deceived at a time of need. 
सो हियर टू वेन एवर यू हैव अ बिग टेस्ट द माइंड एंड इंटेलेक्ट सेम एम टी देर इज़ नो पावर सो वट डू यू हैव टू डू लर्न हाउ टू सेव इफ यू लुक एट दिस अकाउंट नेक्स्ट ईयर लेट द अकाउंट ऑफ एलिब्रेटेड थाट्स ऑफ एवरी वन बी ओवर फ्लोइंग इट शुड नॉट बी एम टी दिस ट्रेजर ऑफ एलिब्रेटेड थाट्स विल बिकम द बेसिस ऑफ मेकिंग एन एलिब्रेटेड रिवॉर्ड डू यू नो हाउ टू एक्यूमुलेट यू आर राज योगीज एंड दिस मीन्स डेट यू नो हाउ टू एक्यूमुलेट एंड ऑल्सो हाउ टू चेक द फेसिस एंड एक्टिविटीज ऑफ दोज हु हैव अ सेविंग्स अकाउंट विल बी कॉन्स्टेंटली सीन टू बी ओवर फ्लोइंग इट इज़ नॉट डेट इफ यू लुक एट देयर फेसिस टूडे दे आर स्पार्कलिंग वेर इज टमोरो देयर इज अ वेव ऑफ अनहैप्पीनेस इट शुड नॉट बी लाइक दैट If you check yourself throughout the day how many poses do you adopt have you ever checked yourself you adopt many different poses do you not bab dada sees everyone's poses sometimes he sees that some children do not take much time in performing an action but they but that they waste a lot of time in repenting for the actions they have already performed then they say it is 3 days since my happiness disappeared Why did you lose your happiness? Where did it go? Who took it? The treasure is yours, but who took it? It is good to repent because repentance makes you bring about transformation. But do not take a long time over it. When you cry in repentance, you would cry for a week. You repent, that is good, but repent and then experience the happiness of attainment. In future, decide in a second. whether you will do this or not do that you were also told earlier to remember two words not and dot you think not and you put a dot you may have been crying for 4 hours okay you may not have said any tears but you were crying internally or maybe you said tears for half an hour or cried in your mind for 4 hours do not repent that much that is too much keep a limit on your repentance Bab Dada likes one speciality of the double foreigners very much. He does not like your crying, but he does like one speciality. What is that? The Lord is pleased with an honest heart. They are not afraid to tell the truth. They will not hide it, and because they have true hearts, they are worthy of double love from the Father. However, although you were told that you kept honest hearts and you pleased the Lord. you should bring about transformation just as quickly do not speak about it internally again and again this happened that happened the other happened it has happened and so it has finished so pay attention in future however instead of paying attention you sometimes create tension you must not do that because the greatest justice of all, um, sorry become the greatest justice of all here too there is a chief justice however you are the chief of the chief justice apply justice to yourself very quickly as to whether something is wrong or right well when something is wrong they then say not and put a dot if it were not like this then it would be like that if it were not like that it would be like this this means that you are accumulating in your account of wastes your income finishes your savings account finishes think but do not have waste thoughts and definitely save something show the result of how much you have saved in an hour how when wastes begin you changed yourself and saved stop the wastes This savings account will give you a lot of happiness. This year, Bab Dada wishes to see the savings account of everyone overflowing. You are able to do this, are you not? Now do this at a fast speed because time is also moving fast, and Baba will then see who claims number one in this. Whose saving account is the greatest of all? We shall make a list of those who have saved number wise. If you control your thoughts you would not then have to make effort to control others Some say I did not want to say that but I don't know how it just emerged through my lips However when you say such words or perform some actions you first have a thought If you are going to get angry with someone you first make plans in your mind 
I will do this. I will say that. What does this one think? You make plans in this way and you then use your time in that. You keep looking at the time. When will this one come? Who will come? Together with the treasure of your thoughts, your treasure of time also goes to waste. The two are connected. So by saving your thoughts, you will automatically be able to save your time and your words. Each year has been passing by. Now do not have ordinary thoughts, but promise this. You may leave your body, but you must not break your promise. No matter how much you have to tolerate or how much you have to transform yourself, you must not break your promise. This is known as a determined thought. You think very well and Bap Dada is also very pleased. I will do this, I will not do this. You please everyone. But now, along with determination, add the word constantly. You are influenced by this for a short time. For this, as you were told earlier, always consider yourself to be an incarnation of economy. Let all three be together. Economy, belonging to the one and being in solitude. Brackets, economy, economy and ikantwasi. Do not come into sound too much. Stay in solitude. It has been seen that those who talk throughout the day waste their treasures of thought and time a great deal. Ikantwasi brackets one who stays in solitude has two meanings. It is not just external solitude but to be lost in the depths of one to be in solitude. Otherwise, if there is just external solitude, you will become bored and say, I don't know how I will spend my day. Therefore, become lost in the depths of the one father. Just as when you go to the bottom of an ocean, you can find so many treasures. So go into the depth. That is, become lost in the attainments you have received from the father. Do not just move along in the waves on the surface, but go into the very depths. Become lost in those and then see how much pleasure you experience. So be economical with your, all your treasures. To remember the one father, the one, fa the one father and none other, this is known as ekanami brackets to belong to one and ekantvasi. Those who stabilize themselves in this stage are able to accumulate all treasures. Otherwise, they are not able to accumulate them. Do you know how to do this? Do you know how to economize? All of you know this. Acha, to the souls everywhere who are true spiritual diamonds, to the special souls who are constantly incarnations of economy, to the souls who constantly remember the one and have love for solitude, to the sparkling souls who spread their sparkle into the whole world, to the sparkle of their vibrations and attitude, Bhaptada's love, remembrance and namaste. Spiritual children says Namaste to the spiritual father. To the dadis, all the work has been successfully accomplished. Souls who are embodiments of success are instruments. Which stars are all of you instrument souls? You are stars of success, are you not? This whole gathering is of those who are stars of success. This whole gathering of the Brahmin family is the galaxy of sparkling stars of success. Acha, blessing, may you constantly have the fortune of happiness and make many other souls prosperous with your treasure of happiness. Someone with the fortune of happiness is a soul who stays constantly happy and makes many other souls prosperous with his treasure of happiness. Nowadays, everyone especially needs the treasure of happiness. They have everything else, but they don't have happiness. All of you have found this mine of happiness. You have a variety of the treasures of happiness. Simply become a master of this treasure and use whatever you have found for yourself and for others and you will experience yourself to be prosperous. Slogan, to transform the wasteful intentions of many souls into elevated intentions is real service. Slogan, to transform the wasteful intentions of many souls into elevated intentions is real service. Om Shanti.